Hello children, here I am once again with you all uh, to continue my chapter. Yesterday in the video, uh, video class we have discussed about uh, the personality of Maniram Diwan and why he goes against the British administrations or British East India Company. As you all know that initially he was very much loyal and he, has, he rendered many services for the British East India Company by sudden, but suddenly what happened that he uh, rose against the British administration that we have discussed in the last video class. So today we are going to discuss uh, the revolt of Maniram Diwan in uh, 1857. As I have told you in, the, uh, in my last video class that Moffat Mill, Chief Justice of Calcutta High Court visited Assam uh, to investigate the administration process in Assam. There he uh, presented two applications but these two applications was totally denied rather he was declared what a conspirator okay that we have discussed in the last video class now today we are going to discuss what are the steps he took against the british administration so see children in the early part of 1857 he went to calcutta with an applications with an applications uh, uh, to meet uh, lieutenant governor of bengal in the application what it was stated that to the, he, he made a request okay he made a request that a portion of upper assam be placed under the rule of a sin of the ahom royal family okay but the bad luck was what that he never got an opportunity to meet the lieutenant governor of bengal okay so in the meanwhile what happened he met one person his name is madhu malli a uh, uh, bengali muktiyar muktiyar means a struggler against the british administration okay so there he met uh, maniram diwan met madhu malli and both of them make friendship with each other and both this person they made they hatch a conspiracy that uh, the british should be drive out from the land uh, from the land of assam so what he did first uh, maniram diwan appealed to the allied class in assam to support him and the allied class from assam they also responded him and they assured that they will uh, they will uh, they will give full support okay because as you all know the allied class in assam were also unhappy with the administration of the british okay so all those communication was uh, uh, done for letter that time no other means was there so letter was the only means by which communication can done okay so what was it was, it was decided that uh, prince kandar peshwar shina would lead the soldier in assam in revolt and maniram diwan would bring the arms and ammunition from calcutta to help uh, to help them during Durga Puja but it was decided that uh, Kandir, Kandar Peshwar Shina would lead the revolt and Maniram Diwan will brought all arms and ammunition for the revolt okay but meanwhile what happened the British government got sent about their conspiracy and obviously they will not keep silent they made preparations accordingly they made preparations to apprehend the rebels okay captain holrat he intercepted many letters written by maniram diwan where conspiracy against the british government was clearly mentioned okay he intercepted many letters which were sending by Maniram Diwan from Calcutta to Assam. Those letters was those letter which was sending by Maniram Diwan was intercepted and conspiracy against the British are clearly mentioned. So the British, without de delaying any time, they took steps. What was the first step? Captain Holroyd sent a British officer, his name is Lothar. He arrived at Jorat with the force. And first of all, what he did? He arrested Kandar Peshwar Shina on September 
seven. And accordingly, he also arrested other allied people or other supporter who supported uh, who supported Maniram Diwan uh, for the revolt. And Maniram Diwan, who was in Calcutta, he was also arrested, and he was put under the bar in Alipur, Alipur jail. He was for two and half month. Okay, after two and half month, he was sent to Jorat. in the month of december okay so captain holroyd what he did he set up a special court and where maniram diwan and pioli borua were sentenced to be hanged till death the british they found them guilty and they give them a capital punishment to maniram diwan and purely borua and it was done on 26 february 1858 okay with that the revolt of maniram was ended okay so the attempt which was made by maniram diwan in 1857 to overthrow the british in uh, in assam and re establish a home monarchy ended in failure okay so see children this is what about maniram diwan's uh, very uh, in a very shortcut i have gone you read the textbook and there are many things to know but as i have told you it is a uh, video class it cannot be too much longer only the main points i have highlighted so let's see about the learning outcome now what's the learning outcome see first of all you will be able to understand or analyze how the common people the common people who are totally against the british administration also the allied class they have given their full support okay it means that all sections of people came together for, uh, against the british is india company clear and their aim is what to overthrow the british from the land of assam so this is the first learning outcome clear the second learning outcome is what that the it has impact it has impact the all section of people okay and what happened a sense of nationalism arose for their motherland okay for india so assam after this revolt assam also took an active part in the indian freedom struggle after that many leaders come out and they have fight against the british administration clear so this is the end of today video thank you very much